So we have a table uh, and it's uh, orders through a drive through restaurant. If three different orders are selected, find the probability that they are all from restaurant A. This is a nice problem. So we want the probability that they're all A's, all from restaurant A. So if they're all from restaurant A, that means that the first one is from restaurant A and the second one is from restaurant A and the third is from restaurant A. So whenever you see both or all, there's likely a hidden end. And so we have two or more things, in this case three, and we have the keyword of end. That means we multiply, right? We're going to use the multiplication rule. Okay, so we want the first one to be from restaurant A. So we, it's a fraction, and it's going to be the number of ways to pick an order from restaurant A divided by the number of ways to pick an order. So to figure out restaurant A, you just go to A and you add these all up. So let's do that. So it'd be 314 plus 37. So 351 ways to pick an order from restaurant A. Now we have to figure out how many ways can we pick an order. So to do that, we have to add up all of these numbers. So let's do that. This would be 314 plus 37 plus 268 plus 58 plus 242 plus 32 plus 134 plus 13. So 1,098. So there are 1,098 ways to pick an order. And the second one has to be from restaurant A. But notice it doesn't say anything about with or without replacement. So it's always without. So you, we have lost an order from restaurant A. So that becomes 350. And this becomes 1,097. And so it goes down again. So it's 349. 1,096. And now we have to put all of this in the calculator. So let's do it. Is it clear? So parentheses 351 divided by 1098 times parentheses 350 divided by 1097 times and then 349 divided by 1096, parentheses. So you get 0 0.0325. It wants four decimals, right? Four decimals, so 0 0.0325. Let's try it. 0 0.0325. Type it in. 0 0.0325. All right, that's it. Hope that made sense.